folks? Today we are going to be talking about an old game called Ghost. Moo! This game came out in 1985 and it is for two players. Now, if you look over here at the ages thing, you'll see it says ages 6 to 14. So technically this is a kid's game. But if you are an adult, this is definitely a game you can enjoy. The object of this game is, well, there are three things you can do to win. You can either capture all of your opponent's good ghosts, have him capture all of your bad ghosts, or get one of your good ghosts to a corridor that it will be on the other side of the board. So you're probably thinking, well, how do you play this game? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's show you how. Okay, everybody, here is the game Ghosts. Now, the first question you're probably asking yourselves are, I wonder if these ghosts glow in the dark. That would be so cool if they did. Well, your wish has been granted. Uh, they glow pretty bright. It's pretty hard to see here in the video, but they do glow, which is pretty cool. So as I said in the intro, there's three ways you can win this game. Um, you can either capture all of your opponent's good ghosts, which are represented by these blue dots over here. You can try to make your opponents capture all of your opponent's bad ghosts, which are represented by these yellow dots over here. Or you can try to get one of your good ghosts uh, into one of these corridors. There's one here, one here. And for your opponent's side, there's one here and then one here. Now, uh, you can basically arrange your eight ghosts um, in this section over here however you would like to. Uh, so just for the, the hay of it, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do it something like this. And uh, what you're basically going to do is you're just going to go ahead and move your ghosts either, either horizontally or vertically. You're not going to move them diagonally. And uh, if you want to just simply do a capture, you'll just simply move uh, your ghost into a space where your opponent's ghost is. So let's say I go first. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and move here. Let's say my opponent decides he's going to move here. I decide I'm going to go ahead and move here. My opponent moves here. And let's just say I decide to move here. And my opponent decides he's going to move here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to figure, okay, is he a good ghost or a bad ghost? Well, I'm not really sure, so I'm going to go ahead and just say, okay, I'm going to take a capture right over here. And it turns out I have captured a bad ghost, so not that good. But I do have one of my good ghosts pretty close here to the corridor, so maybe I'll be able to get lucky. Uh, so let's just say my opponent moves over here, and I move, I'm going to go ahead and move here. So now let's just say my opponent goes and he moves here. So now my opponent can move over here, but I can actually capture him, which can be a good thing, but it could be a bad ghost, so I don't know. So let's just say my opponent decides to move here, and I decide I'm going to go ahead and take a chance and capture him, and I've captured a good ghost. So that's a good thing. Um, so now it's my opponent's turn, and let's say my opponent decides I'm going to go ahead and capture this guy and he has captured a bad ghost. So that's basically how the gameplay works. And again, the game is just basically going to be getting played like this um, until one person either captures all the good ghosts, which will make him win the game, he captures all the bad ghosts, or you capture all the bad ghosts, which will make you lose the game, or you can get one of your good ghosts into one of these corridors, depending on uh, the side that you are on. So if you're on this side, you'll try to get here, and if you're on this side, you will try to get there and there. And that's basically how you play Ghosts. So my thoughts on the game Ghosts. Well, this is another one of those Milton Bradley games that is technically for kids, but can be enjoyed by adults too. Uh, I think one of the reasons is, is because number one, there's three ways you can win. So there is a little bit of strategy involved. So if you start losing a lot of your good ghosts, you can try to switch it up a little bit to try to use your bad ghosts and try to trick your opponent into capturing them. And then, of course, you can always try to go for the corridor, which can always be interesting because you can try to put a bad ghost toward the corridor and hope that your opponent might capture him. So uh, the bluffing aspect on this game is uh, pretty cool. Um, and as far as... Let's see. Another good thing is this game is really, really easy to learn. Um, it doesn't take that long. The game plays rather quick, too, at least for me and my wife. It may take a little bit longer if you're big time into strategy um, or whatever. But I think this game is uh, just a really fun little light strategy game. And it plays a lot like Stratego if you've ever played that one. It just doesn't have the rankings um, at all. It's just either good ghost or bad ghost. But if you find this game at a thrift store... Um, I would definitely pick it up, but this game typically sells for about $15 on eBay or so. Um, and maybe even more if it's complete and in really good shape. Um, and I really like the fact that the ghosts glow in the dark. That's just a pretty cool little aspect. I have not tried playing this in the dark yet, but I think I probably will soon in the near future. So guys, that is my review of the game Ghost. I hope you all have a great day. Keep on gaming.